Hey, what's up? Lightbolt Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the February 2021 graphic novel Avatar The Last Airbender, Toph Beifeng's Metal Bending Academy. This is another addition to our Avatar comics. This is another sequel episode, if you want to call it, to book one, two, and three of Avatar The Last Airbender. And what the excellent episode it was in book form. So we have Toph Beifeng owns a metal bending academy, right? She created it after starting to train three earthbenders in learning metal bending. We know that from previous comics as well. And so Toph is now, she's bored that she has these other students and everybody's doing a great job and everything is perfect and the bills are paid on time and all these things, right? She's doing great, but she's bored because she learned bending in caves with badger moles, um, you know, in, in, in these secret tunnels and like these kids are now pampered in luxury at an academy with a bed that they don't have to sleep on the floor. Toph's trying to find herself. Sokka and Suki, Sokka and Suki, love the two of them, love saying them together. They uh, come and visit, you know, Yudao, which is the city that the uh, Metal Bedding Academy is, is you know, kind of next to. And so just outside of Yudao. And so they're in town because Chong and the... Uh, what is, what is his band's name? Love something? Truth Seekers of something? Ah, oh, hang on. I gotta find it. It's gonna, it's gonna drive me nuts. Uh, Trustfully in Love. So, Chung and his band, Trustfully in Love. Uh, we first met them when Team Avatar was stuck in a tunnel. And there was a guy with a guitar named Chung singing, Secret Tunnel! Secret Tunnel! And Chong and his truth, trustfully in love band is now touring, and it's it was it's so awesome to have Chong teamed up. That's why Sarka and Suki were there for this particular concert. So to have uh, Chong team up with Toph at one point to evade fans, and then Toph comes into the contact with uh, this this kid who can like lava bend. Incredible, absolutely incredible with underground bending tournaments, and it was just so gritty and gruff and. Loved it. This was just such a great thing. Now it's interesting because we first see we see, first see lava bending in uh, Avatar: The Legend of Korra. Um, Bolin does lava bending, and we're like, "Oh, lava bending!" And Bolin's like, "Did I just invent lava bending?" Something like that. So the assumption is that Bolin created lava bending, but in this particular book, this kid's son, he is lava bending on accident, kind of in these tournaments, but he doesn't really know how to control it. So Toph then goes on a thing where she's like, "You know, you didn't invent lava bending, son." But, S-U-N, son. But uh, it is a very rare ability. So she wants him to come to the Metal Bending Academy to learn metal bending, but also to hone the uh, lava bending that he does. So it's it's not technically retconned because the assumption was that Bolin created it, but like it was never official that Bolin created lava bending 80-something years after, you know, our teenage team avatar is doing their thing. Um... But, like, throwing lava bending into the mix took me by surprise. I, I was very impressed, very impressed with uh, Toph Beifeng's Metal Bending Academy. Go check it out. Give it a read. Uchi mahalo.